Hi, Dr. So Parker here with another letter, this one on thyroid eye disease. Uh, this is from a woman in Portland, Oregon, and she says, Dear Dr. So Parker, I am 58 and have both Hashimoto's and Graves' disease. My thyroid levels are all over the place, sometimes high, sometimes low. My doctor tells me when my thyroid is normal, my eyes will get better, but my thyroid isn't normal and my eyes are getting worse. I'm worried that I'll go blind. They hurt all the time. Decompression surgery looks really scary on YouTube, and my doctor tells me it's very dangerous. On the internet, I've read that diet and supplements can cure these diseases, but it's all very confusing. Can you help? So first of all, thank you for your letter. You bring up a lot of important questions and points, and I'll try to address them briefly. If you want more information, you ought to visit our website where we have 18 videos dedicated to patient education about thyroid eye disease. So the first question that you ask is about Graves and Hashimoto's together. These are really archaic terms, and we don't like them. They're confusing because different physicians mean different things when they use these terms. A better term is probably autoimmune thyroid disorder and the eye manifestations of this, which is called thyroid eye disease. It's not at all uncommon for people to have features of both high and low thyroid, so both Graves and Hashimoto's disease. You ask about um, the thyroid causing the eye problems. Separate in your mind the thyroid from the eyes. The thyroid doesn't cause the eye problems and the eye problems don't cause the thyroid problems. There are plenty of people that have thyroid problems that have no eye manifestations and there are people who have eye problems that have high thyroid, low thyroid, or completely normal thyroid. When your thyroid is normalized, it does not necessarily return your eyes to normal. In fact, in most cases it won't. You ask about vision loss. In our practice, we've treated over 7,000 patients with thyroid eye disease and nobody has gone blind. You do not have to lose vision. You do not have to be in pain. If you find an experienced physician to help you out, you can be both safe with your vision and pain-free. There's also a lot of tricks you can use at home to monitor yourself to keep yourself safe, and those are explained on our videos as well. You ask about orbital decompression. Orbital decompression surgeries are very effective and very safe in experienced hands. You do not need to be afraid of them if you find an experienced physician. Finally, you ask about diet. I think that diet is very important. Both diet and dietary supplements can alter uh, the degree of the disease, ameliorate it. They can decrease the rate of reactivation and perhaps decrease the primary activation. It is very confusing. There's a lot of information about diet. I would again encourage you to visit our videos where we summarize the information that's available and perhaps make it easier for you to make some decisions. So I've run through this information very briefly. I hope this is helpful to you. If you want more information, do visit our website uh, and certainly seek a physician in your area who's comfortable treating these disorders. Thank you.